Thank you for joining us at the Session Talk. I'm here with Melania Dutch. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here this evening. Thank you. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to sit with you and talk with you. Of course, what you're doing, your foundation, is going to be big here in Houston. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. So I am currently the general manager at Herman Park Golf Course here in, uh, in the medical district. Um, mm -hmm. I've been in Houston now for about a year and a half. Um, working there at the facility, um, I started this foundation here in 2022 um, mm -hmm. called Journey Through 13. And so the foundation focuses on girls in the city of Houston, um, in the community, getting them involved in golf, learning to, learning the game of golf, mm -hmm. and also just helping them develop personally um, as they make their journey through their teenage years. Wow, so you said you've been here in Houston for a year. So before, what was your journey? So my journey started in Mobile, Alabama. Okay. Where I'm from originally, and then moved to Dallas. And so I mm. pretty much grew up in Dallas. Okay. Um, worked there at a facility for about 12 years, and then I uh, moved here to Houston for the, the job that I have now. Okay. Did you do your organization in Dallas? No, I started here. Okay. Started here in Houston. Okay. So how many girls uh, is part of your organization now? So currently for the 22 season, I have about 32, 34 girls that are oh. registered. Um, and the, range, the ages range from six to seventeen. Okay, that's a big range. So, how do you how do you actually have the time to work with the different age groups? So, right now, the girls we meet twice a month. Okay. Um, and so it's all heavily golf focused right now. Okay. Um, so the first time we meet of the month, we have practice. So we do putting, chipping, full swing. And then mm -hmm. the second time we meet, we go out to the golf course. So I get them playing golf immediately. Okay. Um, so I want them to experience what it's like to be on a golf course, how to maneuver on a golf course, how to uh, play hole by hole, and how to, you know, just play 18 holes. Okay. We haven't quite made it to 18. We're at the five, six hole range now, but that's our journey. So they're gonna learn mm -hmm. to be able to make it through 18 holes. Mm -hmm. um, and then as their game grow and develop, we we'll add additional skills to that. So they're learning mm -hmm. some skills, personal skills, communication skills, you know, yeah. um, discipline, just things that help them throughout their game and in their journey. You know, in the African-American community, I don't hear many girls talking about wanting to play golf, but if a little girl did want to play golf, but she didn't have the resources or the money to be able to participate in an activity like that, how would your foundation help? So there's no charge for the girls to join my foundation. Wow. Um, so it's open because I want them to have the access. Mm -hmm. That's important. You know, when you come into a game of golf, it's new to a lot of people. and. Mm -hmm. Cost can be a barrier. Mm -hmm. So um, with the foundation, there's no cost. So mm -hmm. I want any girl that's interested or might be interested in golf mm -hmm. to have that access to come to the golf course and join. And mm -hmm. they'll get the instruction, they'll get what they need to get them into the game. So what are the benefits of playing golf? I've never played golf before, but anyone that does play golf, I see that it has benefited them in so many ways. But how would your girls benefit? Oh yeah, golf teaches you life skills. You know, okay. you learn immediately about who you are. Mm -hmm. um, you learn to overcome. You learn to stay focused. You learn to deal with adversity. You know, mm -hmm. you hit a bad shot, you have to be able to recover. You know, mm -hmm. if something happens to you in life, you have to be able to recover. And so little things like that, um, that they're able to take with them to help them as they grow. Okay. Health benefits, you know, you're outside, you're in the sun, you know, you're getting exercise. Mental yeah. benefits, you know, you have to focus, you have to be able to concentrate on what it is you want to do, yeah. uh, whether you get a good result or a bad result. Okay. Um, so there's a ton of different skills and life skills really that you can learn from the game. Well, I don't know about anyone who's watching, but I want to make sure I'm part of this <laughs> and that I'm able to at least fund or sponsor um, a student. So how can anyone be a partner or sponsor a student to make sure they're part of this program? Yeah, so um, definitely need fu funding, of yeah. course. Um, so the name of the foundation is Journey Through 18. Okay. And that's the website as well, journeythrough18.com. Mm -hmm. And on there, you'll see some of the activities we've been we've been doing all year. Mm -hmm. And there's also a um, way for you to donate. So you can donate a general donation. Mm -hmm. You can donate towards equipment. Um, because I, I have clubs that I purchase just for the girls to use when they come to class. Mm -hmm. um, but purchasing equipment for the girls to be able to have a set of clubs they can take home. Yeah. Because now they're a golfer. So if I have my set, I have what I need to play the game. Okay. Um, and then just helping with fees for the mm -hmm. golf course, you know, because there are certain fees just to come out and play golf. And so um, I want to absorb all that for them. So okay. they're just able to come and learn the game. Okay, so speaking of the golf course, how would students participate in this golf club if they're not members or if their parents aren't members? How does the membership work? So I'm at a public facility, so okay. there's no membership fees. Okay. So anybody can come. 
any girl between the ages, I say six, but I have a couple that are younger, mm -hmm. but six to 17 that's interested in playing, they just need to go to the website and register. Oh. It's that simple. Okay, and the website again? Uh, journeythrough18.com. Journeythrough18.com. So there you have it. Um, we're gonna take a break, but if you are watching, join journeythrough18.com and get some information and we'll be back. Hi, my name is Milana Dodge, and you are watching the Session Talk Show. We're here with Melania Dutch to talk about her tournament coming up. So, the 2022 Melania Dutch Tournament Classic. Tell us about it. So, this is my baby. So, this okay. is a tournament that I um, started when I was living in Dallas. Okay. Um, and at the time, I had just started my girls' golf program. Mm -hmm. So, needed a way to fund it because, again, I'm not trying to, you know, have that barrier. So I started this tournament um, in Dallas just a way to raise funds to be able to fund the program. Okay. Um, it was very successful while I was there in Dallas. Um, and then when I just moved here, I decided, you know what, I need to bring that back. And so I um, decided to do it this year. And it's just going to be like an introduction for the foundation. Okay. So I'm going to use the tournament to display the foundation, talk about what we're doing, what our goals mm -hmm. are for 2023. Um, and then get, so everyone can know about it, be able yeah. to contribute and help us. So this is like a launch. This yes. is your launch in Houston. This yes. is big. Yes. Okay. So how can we get people to get tickets? Do we come? How? How do I? How do I come? So uh, basic golf tournament. You would go on, online and register. Okay. So you can. There, I said there's four ways you can support. Okay. You can be a sponsor. So there are levels to sponsorships that are available. Mm -hmm. You can be a player. You can register mm -hmm. to play. You can play on a team of four. Okay. If you don't have a team, you register as an individual. We can pair you with someone to play. Okay. Um, you can make donations. Um, a sponsored donation, I mean, I'm sorry, an in-kind donation, mm -hmm. um, and then you can spread the word. So um, anybody can help, anybody can participate, anybody yes. can be a part of the event. Um, so it's going to be at Herman Park Golf Course mm -hmm. on Saturday, November the 19th. Registration is open right now. Um, I do have some sponsors, but looking for more, looking mm -hmm. for vendors. Um, and then players. Okay. Um, some of the girls will be there, so they'll be a part of the event. You'll be able to see mm -hmm. the girls. Um, we have some videos to show throughout the year what we've done, yeah. um, but it is our launch for the, for the foundation. Okay, and tell me about your sponsors. Who do you have right now? How have they contributed? So right now, um, I have Centerpoint Energy as a sponsor. Mm -hmm. um, I have AT&T as a sponsor. Um, I have, there's a law firm, um, Gotsi and Martin, mm -hmm. they're our sponsors as well. Um, there's a company, Nationwide Investigations, okay. that, is, that has come on as a sponsor. Um, to Be Us, mm -hmm. um, Cedric Smith, he's a sponsor as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I have some other sponsors that have come on, and so it's moving. Yes. You know? um, I'm new to Houston, so I know I have to kind of take steps, you know, and, mm -hmm. and meet people, build relationships, because uh, nobody really knows me. You yes. know, so I have to prove what I can do. And so wow. um, I'm, I'm working, and so I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, yeah. this event is a good showcase for the foundation mm -hmm. and that we can go into 2023 with yeah. what we need to be successful. Well, kudos to you because your list of sponsors are amazing. You have already hit some of Houston's very prestiged sponsors there. I mean, when you said Centerpoint Energy, I just knew if they're on board, they really, really see something amazing because we all we all need Centerpoint. <laughs> so that's amazing. Um, how can new sponsors become sponsors? Uh, Besides going on the website, should anyone reach out to you? Um, is there a certain number of sponsored dollars that you are looking for? Is that your goal? Yes. Tell us about your goal in so your sponsors. For 2023, um, my goal is $30,000. Okay. Um, and I'm about halfway. So I'm about at 15 Amazing. right now. Um, and that's just to cover the, the expenses for the program, mm -hmm. um, the expenses for the golf tournament. Um, mm -hmm. So all of that just encompassing um, my budget is about 30000 Okay. And so if you go to the website, journeythrough18.com, mm -hmm. you can see the levels, the sponsorship levels and kind of what they're including, what's included okay. um, and how it helps. So okay. whether you're making a $100, you know, level sponsorship or yes. 5000 you know, there's multiple levels. And so wherever you feel comfortable, whatever you can do, yeah. there's, there's somewhere for you. Now, 
I'm, I'm part of a couple of organizations and I know how important organizations are. They all have their uh, values and they all have their mission. Mm -hmm. Now, tell me, how, how can anyone join your mission and what is your mission? So my mission is to create a community for girls um, and, I, and I say minority girls or black girls in the area to mm -hmm. learn the game of golf mm -hmm. and feel comfortable enough to learn it uh, with themselves and build that confidence. Okay. And so I want them to be able to play this game of golf, be able to go out with anybody mm -hmm. and be confident in themselves enough to play golf, be in this circle and be in the game. Yeah. Growing up, it was just me, you know. I was the only little black girl that played golf in the whole city that I lived in. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you feel some kind of way about that. You know, you feel like you're by yourself, you're alone, you don't have any friends. Mm -hmm. And so I don't want that for girls now. Now that I'm in a, a position to change that somewhat, so mm -hmm. I want to do what I can to try to change that. Yeah. And so um, just being a part of that and seeing that, I want, I want to kind of remove that for the girls. Yes. And so my mission is just to support them. I'm not their golf coach, you know, I'm not their swing coach, I'm not their high school team coach, mm -hmm. but I want to be there to support them where they need it, mm -hmm. on the golf course and off the golf course. Yeah. Um, so some of the girls, you know, I talk to on a regular basis, it's kind of a mentorship somewhat, mm -hmm. um, but it, there's a group of us. And so we keep up with the girls, you know, yeah. how'd you play in your tournament? What's going on at school? You know, yeah. um, we had a leadership academy a couple months ago mm -hmm. and we just talked about empowerment. You you know, empowering their mind, their body, their golf game, mm -hmm. and their future, you know. Yeah. And it's just trying to encompass all parts of their life, but mm -hmm. tied into golf. Nice. And so right now, my support team are the parents. Because it's very fairly new, you know, and I have yeah. a few other people that come in and help, but mm -hmm. the parents are really there, you know. So anything going on, they're like, how can we help? You know, what mm -hmm. do you need us to do? Which is good because the parents see the value in it, how I can help their daughter. Yeah. And so um, that's kind of, how we're going right now. Yes. Um, so it's kind of family oriented a little bit almost. Okay. I love that. So if um, if a mother was interested in getting her daughter in this program mm -hmm. because she sees something in her daughter or maybe her daughter is interested in golf, but what a mother would like to know a little bit about golf, is there also a safe space for moms to practice and, and learn something so that they can help their daughter continue to practice? Oh yeah, so like when we have practice, the parents are there, you know. Okay. Um, when we're chipping or putting and I'm working with one of the girls or one of my assistants we're working and whatever it is we're working with, we might tell the parents, okay, so when y'all go practice, make sure she's doing this. Got it. So they're there, you know, because they gotta be able to reinforce what the girls learned in class. Okay. And so, um, but you just gave me an idea for, for next year with the parents. Oh, good. Yeah, good. That's good. Get them involved a little bit more. <laughs> yeah. So talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this has been the session, a talk, and I am so thankful that you were able to sit here with me because I know that there's so many moms and dads out there that want their girls to be able to succeed. And we all know that golf is a very prestigious sport. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.